if you clicked on this, you're going to learn something. If you clicked on this and you don't know what a marginal tax is, we'll go over that. And you'll be glad that you clicked on this video. So anyways, before we get started, we got to go over the giveaway from yesterday. So we had a bunch of people enter from the giveaway yesterday. I'm just kidding. We didn't have anybody enter from the giveaway except one person. So shout out to Seth Powers. You are going to get this copy of the intelligent investor i gave you the option of getting the new copy or the copy that i wrote in you chose the news copy the new copy so you'll be getting the new copy before we get started marginal taxes basically as you make more money the government wants more and more from you it's like that whole spider-man quote with great power comes great responsibility with great money comes uh uncle sam with his hand out so you guys need to know that so let's see how much money uncle sam is going to take from you when you guys start making more money let's see what we got going on here on the board man we got a lot of comments going on on the board congratulations on making all this money it's time to pay the government okay so right here we've got the we've got five categories that we're going to go over let's go ahead and change that and that should be good now so um, okay, so we've got five categories over here, and we've got income, bracket, max tax, 50K, 1 million. So we're going to do in, uh, the income brackets. We're going to do how much you're paying out of each of those brackets. We're going to see what's the maximum that you can pay uh, for each bracket. And we're going to go through two examples, somebody making 50K and somebody making a million dollars, that sweet million. Let's talk about the income bracket. So basically uh the brackets like we said before with great power comes great responsibility with great money comes uncle sam's freaking hand in your pocket so uncle sam's gonna take 10 percent of the first 9700 dollars that you make so the next bracket 9701 is gonna take 12 cents of that 9700 and first dollar so all the way up to 39,750 and so on and so forth. So we got 22% ending at 84,200, 24, you guys can see the chart. So that's how it works. It progresses through the progressive tax system. So then let's uh, fill in these brackets. So basically what this bracket thing is, is um, I'm just saying how big is the actual tax bracket? So we're just gonna take the difference between this smaller number and the bigger number and we're gonna see how much uh, actual taxable income belongs in these brackets. All right, thanks, notebook. Um, so what we've got here is basically how much money is in between each one of these tax brackets. So in this one, I mean, obviously the zero to 9,700, we've got 9,700. Between the next bracket, you've got 30,050. Next bracket, 44,450. Next bracket, 76,500. Next bracket, 43,375. Next bracket, 306,200. And that's basically what they can collect taxes on at this rate. So the max taxes, we can do that real quick. And uh, we'll just go ahead and fill that in. I'll cut this out so we can do it quick. Alrighty then. So now we've got all of those max taxes filled out. So basically what the max tax is, it's easiest to see over here where we've got a 10% tax bracket. We've got 10% of this is 970. So assuming that you make it above this tax bracket, you're going to pay this amount. And as we go across the board, you're basically gonna pay this amount. Let's say you make $85,000, you're gonna pay all of these amounts this way. So as you progress, you uh, go get more money, you have to pay all of these progressive taxes over here. So if you're making 250, you've gotta pay all of these amounts and then a portion of this amount. Over here, these guys are the lucky guys because as you can see, the limit does not exist. The limit does not exist. So we'll just go ahead and fill those in right there. Get infinities right there. We'll fill those infinities in, get those infinity gauntlets out real quick. When you snap your fingers, it just crushes a rich person's soul. So yeah, when we get above $510,300, the limit does not exist on how much that can be taxed at 37,000. If you know anything about tendencies to lines, essentially as you go higher and higher, you're basically gonna be paying an effective 37% tax rate. Cause if you make like, I don't know, 20 million, you're basically paying 37% on most of the money that you made. Okay, let's get into our 50K example. Then we'll get into our 1 million example and that will close out the video. Okay, let's get into our 50K example. So we've got this uh, tax bracket over here. They made it above this tax bracket. So they're gonna pay all of this. They're gonna pay $970. 
they made it above this tax bracket over here so they're going to pay thirty six hundred and six dollars right here and then in this tax bracket they had ten thousand and two hundred fifty dollars so of that they're going to pay twenty two percent tax on that which comes out to twenty two hundred dollars and fifty five so over here we've got ta oh we've got taxes we've got an empty box this should be take home so we're going to go over taxes the take home and the percentage that they paid in taxes and the percentage that they kept uh, so this person's taxes they paid $6831 total based on those marginal tax rates and then they pay, they kept $43,169. So Uncle Sam got this amount, they kept this amount. And so their effective tax rate is 14%. So that's very different than uh, what most people think, which is, oh, they're in the 22% tax bracket, they paid 22% in taxes. But no, they actually paid 14% uh, effective tax rate. So that is, and they kept 86% of their money. All right. so. That was the 50K example. That's a pretty normal example. And of course, this is federal taxes. This is not taking into account state and local taxes. And this is not taking into account other tax strategies that we've discussed before. My four boxes video, for example. But anyways, let's get into the 1 million example. Let's eat the rich. All right, so we got through our 50K example, but now you know what time it is. It's time to eat the rich. So I'm not sure exactly what I think about that statement. I mean, we kind of already do eat the rich as you're about to see, but... um. Maybe there's people out there that are just like, you know what, I'll take another helping of the rich. Anyways, let's get into this. Basically, if you are from, if you are above all of these tax brackets, you're going to pay this max tax. So that's why we set that up. So you're going to pay that 107000 You're going to pay that $13,888.80. You're going to pay that $18,360. So you're going to pay all of these amounts. Plus, you're going to pay whatever you owe in this amount, which in this case, they have $489,700 in this amount. So they're going to pay $181,189. So if you add up all of these amounts that this million dollar earner is paying, now keep in mind, this is not taking into account state and local taxes, which if you're in states like California, man, you are going to get... This is a PG channel. Um, so you're gonna you're gonna pay some taxes. Uh, but anyways, if you look in at this amount, so you're gonna end up paying three hundred and thirty-four thousand nine hundred and fifty-four dollars if you are making this amount in just federal taxes. So your take-home pay is gonna be six hundred sixty-five thousand and um, forty-six dollars. So that essentially brings your tax rate over here to 33.5 percent and as you can see that is not uh 37 percent so anyways basically these taxes like we said in the beginning great power great responsibility great hand in your face hopefully you guys like this video and got some value out of it hopefully it's a little bit of an illustration that being an employee comes with these taxes. So if you're being an employee, you're gonna be taxed a lot more than say somebody who has passive real estate income, somebody who has portfolio income, somebody who has a business that they can spend money within the business, get company cars, get better tax benefits. America really incentivizes real estate investors. America really incentivizes business owners. So anyways, I hope this is illustrative to you guys. You guys understand the tax brackets and uh, yeah. If you want to support the channel, hit the links down below. And uh, yeah, the, the, the video's kind of over now, guys. I don't, I don't know what else to say. How do you like me now? You like that? Yeah. Get some. Get some.